This Love, Maroon 5. It's the iHeartRadio album release party. We're talking with Adam Levine about the group's new album, Jordy, dedicated to the late manager, Jordan Feldstein, and it's available right now. So we talked earlier about teaming up with Megan Thee Stallion. She's not the only collaboration on here. We have Black Bear, Stevie Nicks, Bantu, Her, Juice World, Nipsey Hussle, and YG. When I heard Remedy for the first time with Stevie Nicks, brother, your voices just matched together perfectly. I absolutely love that. Well, Stevie Nicks is uh, is like a has is like a piece of me, and and at this point, she's she and I are like connected on a strange level. Like have been for a, we have been for a while. Um, I just love her so much. You know, she's she's always been a kind of a presence. Yeah. Uh, in the recent, you know, in the later years, you know, like. I think I met her like eight or nine, eight or nine years ago. Um, and she's just always been a person that has a, has, first of all, I mean, she's Stevie Nicks, like fucking what's there to say. She's been an in, influence for many years before that, but just on a personal level, like uh, she's an inspiration. She always has been. And I knew our voices would sound really great together when we actually, yeah. then we've sung together before I did it. We've done, I sung with her leather and lace, which is one of my, my favorites. Um, and uh, yeah, we've, we've tested out the, uh, tested it out before. Yeah. But it's great. You know, what's interesting too is there's artists on here, um, you know, Juice World. A lot of people might not have known Juice World when he was here and he's gone too soon, obviously. But hearing his voice in a Maroon 5 track, I think that brings in like a whole new world to you guys in this album that was just really, really interesting for me to hear. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I never, someone that, uh, I'll always regret not ever getting to meet, you know, uh, we had a lot of friends in common and, and the guy was a prolific, just genius, you know, the, yeah. it, you know, as you start to go down the rabbit hole of, of what he did in such a short period of time. And sure. you know, obviously everyone knows that he was tragically, you know, gone too soon, but the guy was just like going to be, he was yeah. just on his way to being the best there ever was. Mm -hmm. uh, like he was incredible, just like so different. And like, there's just nothing like what he just changed everything. And, and it was like, he was gone so soon that people are never going to know like yeah. just how profoundly he changed everything. Right. Um, it's sad. I, I wish I could have met him. Yeah. Was there a uh, collaboration on here that surprised you working with somebody? You go, Oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. You know, like, Everything we take it all so you know we think about these types of collabs. The and they're all I, I love them all for different reasons. I mean, like yeah, the, the Gabby or her, you know, I'm supposed to call her her, and when she's I'm talking about the formal um, artist known as her, uh, she is like, and I can't wait to meet her. She's she is incredible and just such a talent in a way that's so refreshing. You know, like shreds on the guitar like, yes writes a song well like ridiculously beautiful music and sings it beautifully and she's just kind of can do everything um yeah. and 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 like but the when the minute she got on that song like it changed it it elevated it i think that might be my favorite on the album just as far is as it really okay i was gonna ask you what your favorite was well i just love her so much and and she's so mega and the, the song is really cool and kind of sad but but mm -hmm. so real and raw and, and sincere and simple and uh i don't know i love the production and i just it's really cool 